became obvious to me that in the future, any, any car that did not have autonomy uh, would be about as useful as a horse. Which is not to say that there's no use, it's just rare. This is the Summer Lake Report. <laughs> Welcome to the Summer Lake Report. We got a great video today. We are in a Tesla Model 3. We're going to test the autopilot on some Las Vegas side streets. Fully automated lane changes. We'll have to go manual a couple times. For the most part, we'll be on autopilot, even through the heavy Las Vegas strip. So sit back, relax, enjoy the sounds of autonomy. First, let's see what Elon has to say about the autopilot. It's just obvious that cars will drive themselves completely. It's just a question of time. And if we did not participate in the autonomy revolution, then our cars would not be useful to people relative to cars that are autonomous. I mean, an autonomous car is arguably worth five to 10 times more than a, not, a car which is not autonomous. Here we are, going east on Flamingo, right over the Las Vegas Boulevard. Full autopilot here. As you can see, very dynamic environment going over Las Vegas Boulevard, a lot of traffic. Here the right hand blinker is on. We're doing a fully automated lane change. And voila, poor lane markings up against the curb, pedestrians all over the place, and it's driving like a champ. The autopilot is a little more aggressive at slower speeds. When you're on the freeway doing 70, it's pretty conservative. It'll, it'll get scared on lane changes occasionally, and it'll freak out a little bit, especially if you have bad lane markings, but overall, the center console is just a fraction of what the car sees. It's kind of a dumbed down visual representation for us humans to double check everything's okay. The whole point of the display is to provide a health check on the, the vehicle's perception of reality. So the vehicle's uh, taking in information from a bunch of sensors, primarily cameras, but also radar and ultrasonics, uh, GPS and so forth. And then, uh, that, that information is then rendered into vector space uh, and that, you know, with a bunch of objects with, pro with properties like lane lines and traffic lights and other cars. Um, and then in vector space, that is re-rendered onto a display so you can confirm whether the car knows what's going on or not by looking out the window. Here's an unsuccessful lane change. There's the disconnect. There's the proximity warning. There's the second car that crept over into the middle lane that killed the lane change. It was not one but two cars that followed each other into the center lane to kind of get past the traffic there. The autopilot sensed it, the radar picked it up, immediately canceled the lane change. And here is where the autopilot really makes its money in these stop and go heavy traffic situations where it's a pain in the butt. You gotta be constantly adjusting to the traffic flow, the compression wave, the stop, the starts. The autopilot makes these situations a breeze. You can feel the car getting smarter almost week by week with every update, with every download. It's learning. Every successful lane change, it goes into that network, it goes into that database. The more everybody drives, the smarter all the cars get. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out that it isn't going to be very long before there's this awesome network of cars on the road. So that's going to do it for the autopilot demonstration. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.